Hey, what's up? It's Alex. Today, I'm going to read you a poem by Mary Oliver called Wild Geese. After the reading, I'll explain some of the background and the meaning of the poem, and we'll look at some of the word choices. Let's begin. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese high in the clean blue air, are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over announcing your place in the family of things. This poem was written in 1986, and it explains that even if you're feeling stressed or confused about the world, nature is still there and nature is still beautiful. So if you're feeling confused or stressed or worried, you can just look at nature and feel the beauty of nature, then you can relax. This poem doesn't use any rhymes, but it does repeat the sounds of some words, even if it isn't rhyming those words. For example, it repeats the word meanwhile, and that opening m sound comes again and again, meanwhile the world goes on, meanwhile the sun, mountains and the trees, meanwhile. That opening m kind of holds the middle of the poem together. Another sound that gets repeated is r, repenting, rain, despair, prairies. That might seem like an accident, but the words are carefully spaced within the poem to preserve that sound kind of holding steady through the poem. Now let's explain some of the more rare words in this. Repenting. For a hundred miles through the desert, repenting. Repenting means to feel sorry or to feel strong regret for something. So if you feel sorry, then walking a hundred miles on your knees is kind of like a punishment for yourself. She says, let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. And this is a pretty unusual word choice here, because it's kind of weird to say the animal of your body. That's unusual, not many people say that. But animal, as a concept, is used later on in the poem when she talks about the geese. So here when she says the animal of your body, it's talking about how you are an animal in the world, just like the geese. You kind of belong to nature just like the geese do. And finally she says, announcing your place in the family of things. Your place in the world, according to this poem, is just to be one small part of nature. Nature and the world is one large family, and you have your own place in it. 